All right, everyone, the war does move on. Unfortunately, 100 U.S. troops are now being deployed to Israel, uh, along with a THAAD system. This is an anti-rocket uh, system, basically. Um, this is an escalation that is quite worrying, because the United States, up till now, has not been directly physically involved with what's going on within the region. Um, it's been indirectly involved, sending billions and billions of dollars worth of weaponry, uh, etc., to uh, kill civilians, mainly. Um, and, and that's bad enough. Uh, unfortunately, now we find ourselves in a situation where we actually have U.S. troops on the ground in Israel. And this is unhelpful. It's not going to make a big difference. Uh, basically, what you're doing is you're putting 100 troops there as sitting ducks to man a couple of anti-rocket platforms uh, and, and hope that they get pit-bombed because then, you know, you have a justification for a larger war. That's exactly what's being done right now. Uh, there's no reason to believe otherwise. There's no reason to believe that the U.S. government gives a damn about the troops. They don't give a damn about Israeli civilians, Lebanese civilians, Gazan civilians. Uh, they just don't give a fuck. Uh, basically, these troops are here to be sitting ducks and to eventually be hit with a bomb. That's, uh, that's what they're for. And uh, that's unfortunately what I predict will, will actually happen at some indeterminate point in the future. And then you will have a larger scale conflict. Because then the United States can say, you know, the U.S. government, uh, well, our troops were attacked. We must fight. Uh, we're good patriots. Uh, we love our country so much. Yeah, we put them in the middle of a firefight and let them sit there until they eventually got killed. But, uh, yeah, that, that, that's, you know, that's the name of the game. Uh, that's what we do. The U.S. government has done this before when we had a bunch of troops in Syria. What role do you think that they actually were providing? Uh, the, the, an auxiliary role at best, uh, on the best of days, and otherwise just sitting there waiting to be killed by a missile that, that allows you to uh, wage war uh, against Syria proper. They're doing the same thing now. Uh, they know that these troops are going to be under fire, because all of Israel's under fire anyway. They know that Hezbollah might get involved, Hamas is definitely involved, the Iranians could get involved. Uh, it's basically like sort of, uh, you know, picking who you want to go to war with uh, more than anything else. That's exactly what's happening. Uh, and, and I oppose it. Uh, to be clear, uh, my official clank opinion is that I'm anti-war, generally speaking. If you're waging a fully defensive war, so somebody has physically attacked your country, it's justified, rip them to shreds. Perfectly fine. No problem for me. We don't really have skin in the game, though. I do not care about Israel and Palestine. I just don't give a fuck. I, I, why am I supposed to care? Am I supposed to pretend for religious reasons or something like that? God's chosen people or, you know, uh, Muhammad Akbar or something like that. I don't give a fuck. I don't care what happens over there. And uh, I know that most people can't even find fucking Lebanon on a map. So, you know, uh, why are we involved? No, instead we send troops over there and a fad system and, and everything else under the sun. We'll probably have some, uh, some VTOLs and A-10s in there any day now, too. And it'll be a nice big war, and everyone will die, and, you know, people will think that it's patriotic or something like that. I don't find that to be patriotism. I don't think that that's right at all. I think that what's going on there is wrong, and we should stay the fuck out of it, because it's so wrong. I think that the Israelis and the Palestinians are all completely goddamn insane. I think that they've lost their goddamn fucking minds. Why the fuck would I want to, you know, we have my brother or sister involved over there? It doesn't make any sense at all. But uh, the Biden administration, they found a way to uh, yeah, get their foot in the door just a little bit. And uh, then they're hoping that those poor troops get again massacred so that they can wage a larger war. It's probably for the best politically for them, because that's basically the only chance that they have. They, uh, they, want, to, uh, they want to do war politics. Bush was great at this, by the way. You know, you start the Iraq war and then nobody dares to uh, vote against you. They, uh, they don't want to switch captains in the middle of, a, of, of an engagement, basically. Um, that's basically, it seems, 
what the Kamala administration is aiming for here. You've got Tim Walls, the ultimate FUD. We'll be talking about him later, by the way. Uh, and, and then you've got Kamala, the, the rogue prosecutor, who is ex exceptionally insane in every possible way, shape, and form. And, of course, they want to start a war. They want to start a war because it's the only way that they can win. That's about all. Peace out.